Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals just like you who need this information. Okay, today I'm going to be reading from my Planets in Transit book and this is by Robert Hand and it will be transiting Saturn through uh, your natal first house. Okay, so, and I wanted to let all of you know, if you would like me to, if you have any specific transiting planets that I haven't done yet, and you would like me to read from this Planets in Transit book or any of my books, please let me know and I would be happy to do so. Just send me, send me an email, a comment, and I would be happy to do that. Okay, so all of you who currently have and transiting Saturn, and again, Saturn currently, today is August 8th, 2022, and Saturn is in Aquarius and it is 22 degrees Aquarius. Okay. So any of you who have transiting Saturn, if you have an Aquarius ascendant or you might be at the end of Capricorn ascendant, the end degree, and you would still have transiting Saturn going through your first house, if you have Aquarius at all in your first house. Okay. This transit represents a new beginning of internal growth. Beautiful. The period when Saturn crossed over your ascendant was a time of shearing away those aspects of your life that no longer had a valid role. A time when projects were completed. As Saturn continues to transit your first house, your responsibilities will continue to be heavy, but your accomplishments may also be great. During this transit, it is not a good idea to start any new long range projects that will take years to complete. Obviously, you should proceed with anything that has to be done in a shorter time span. Don't use this transit as an excuse for sitting around and waiting for a more favorable time. Now is the time to turn your attention inward. You have just completed a 14 year period in which your attention was focused primarily on interactions with others, your social life. While you have built up a very elaborate external world, you may be quite unaware of what is going on inside yourself. Now is the time to turn inward and restructure yourself wherever necessary. This restructuring will take several years, so don't be in a hurry. You have learned a great deal about the world. Now learn about yourself. What do you really want and need? What have you learned about yourself over the last several years? You have to understand what you are in your, oh, excuse me, let me start that again. You have to understand what you are in your own terms, not in other people's terms. Regardless of what type of people, excuse me, regardless of what type of person you are, this is a time of introversion and introspection. The more you get in touch with yourself during the next few years, 
the more successful you will be in the future. Saturn has a way of forcing you to deal with the appropriate issues. Since this is a time for looking inward, it will obviously present difficulties if you have elaborate co commitments in, in the outer world. If those commitments get in the way of investing energy within yourself, you will begin to have trouble with them. You may feel that you just don't have the energy to cope. You may feel withdrawn and tired. If you are naturally introspective, you may become more so. Often people experience significant failures in their work at this time because the work is distracting them from an encounter with themselves. And I'm also being drawn to say very quickly, for those of you that don't know, I'm an astrologer of 27 plus years. And if you don't already know or have written copies of your nodes of the moon, I can't impress upon you enough to find out what your nodes of the moon are. Get those copies, read about yourself because that is each and every one of our personal work in this life that at birth, it gets put into our subconscious so we do not automatically know. And there are blockages for us, our self know is. And that's something that we have the ability and the one place in our whole natal wheel that we actually have choice, conscious choice, once you become aware of what your nodes of the moon are. If you'd like to know what your nodes of the moon are, if you don't know and you'd like me to, to assist you, send me an email with your birth information and I will look it up and send you back what, what it is and I will even send you copies, written copies for yourself. And then you can also look back in my playlist because I have done, oh, many, many uh, different videos, readings from my Karmic Astrology book. And you're going to have two placements, one zodiac sign, at least two placements. Some of you are going to have more if you're on the cusp. So you're going to have a zodiac sign, at least one zodiac sign placement, and one house placement of your nodes of the moon. South node symbol is an upside down headphones or horseshoe. And then straight across from that is going to be your north node, which is upright headphones or horseshoe. Okay. Saturn has a way of forcing you to deal with the appropriate issues. Since this is a time for looking inward, it will obviously present difficulties if you have elaborate commitments in the outer world. Okay, I just spoke of this, but I'm going to go ahead and read the rest of it again. If those commitments get in the way of investing energy within yourself, you will begin to have trouble with them. You may feel that you just don't have the energy to cope. You may feel withdrawn and tired. If you are naturally introspective, you may become more so. Often people experience significant failures in their work at this time because the work is distracting them from an encounter with themselves. This is an excellent time for any kind of psychotherapy, human potential work, or consciousness raising. You need to unlearn all the incorrect and inaccurate ways of thinking about yourself that you have learned from others. You need to know who you are. Then you can properly lay the foundation for restructuring your inner life. This must precede the restructuring of your outer life, which will happen about 14 years from now. 
Okay, well, that concludes transiting Saturn through your first, your natal first house. So I hope that was helpful. And please, if you have any questions or you'd like a copy of this, or you'd like me to look up your notes of the moon, whatever it is, that's what I'm here for. So please send me an email, send me a comment. Okay. Well, thank you. And until next time.